Just like you announce yourself at the burning bush. You are the I am, the I am, the great I am, the great I am. Whatever you are is great. Whatever Just like you announce yourself at the burning bush. You are, you are the I am, the I am, the great I am, the great I am. Whatever you are is great. Just like you announce yourself at the burning bush. just praying today to a God whose hands are tied Woo. we're not just singing today to a God who's trying to learn how to be something he's not Woo, hallelujah we're singing and we're praying and we're worshiping a God Woo. who has been what he's always been hallelujah who has been what he is today hallelujah and what he will be tomorrow we're not declaring from a place, hallelujah, that is not sure, but we're standing on something and someone who is the great I am, everything that we've needed him to be. He is and has always been and will always be, hallelujah, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, we acknowledge that you are Yahweh, that you are great at whatever you are, that you are I am, that you are everything we need you to be.
in my devotion God speak to me and I will listen oh I'll give you everything I'll give you Yours, I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My affection. 
collections are yours. Yes, they are. The altars where you meet us. Take me there, take me there. If what you need is just an offering. It's right here, my life is here. Yes, I'll be your living sacrifice for you. You're a fire. I wanna be consumed. Wanna be tried by fire. Purify. Take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. Yes, if your glory wants to. So 
I give my gave yours, so I give my Lord is my life. You gave yours, so I give my You gave yours, so I give my Lord is my life. Freely you gave, so freely I give. Gave yours, so I give my
Bye. Just let that be a song. Let that run through our veins. That if it's not your plan, we won't agree. 
agree with me? If it's not burning in your heart, don't let it burn in ours. If it's not in your will, don't let it be in ours. Oh, Father, let us embrace. Let us embrace. Embrace the, the hardness, the, the, the cruelty of the garden. Let us embrace the garden. Let us embrace the garden of Gethsemane. Where we saw you fully God and fully man. Cast away what you wanted for a greater purpose, Father. Let the Garden of Gethsemane be our example every day. Let your will run through our veins like the blood. Let it burn in our hearts as we intercede for a nation, for a broken country, for a broken world, Father. The only way we have strength enough to intercede is when your will is at the forefront. When we can see your vision, when we can see what you have in mind, when we can see your goal, what do you want? Just like you did in the garden, Father. Let it be your will, not our will, your plan. schedule, not our schedule. Your time, not our time. Your agenda, not our agenda, Lord. Whatever you want. That's our prayer. That's our life. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Father, I pray that there be a generation of sound. Hallelujah. There be a people who remains in the garden. Thank you. Let us be a people who remain in the garden. Who remain broken. Who remain in the garden of our lives. In that broken place where we're sweating blood, who we're crying tears, the agony of our souls. Father, let us remain in that place of brokenness, that beautiful broken place where we crucify our will. We sacrifice our flesh, our agendas, our plans for what you want. If it's not what you want, it doesn't matter. Radical, complete surrender. If it's not what you want, it doesn't matter. If it's not what you want, it doesn't matter. Raise up a people who lives in the garden of Gethsemane. Who lives at that place of sacrifice that place of refining. We stand in the gap today for a generation that will raise up in boldness, that will raise up willing to lay down their lives, count the cost and lay down their lives. You're worth it. You're so worth it. You're so worth it. You're, worth it. You're worthy of that and more. Our lives are even what you're worth, but it's all we can give. All you want is our life. All you want is everything. It's all you want, everything. That's what we give you, Father.
pointed to Jesus the Christ. Real quick, isn't it interesting, I had this thought earlier today, isn't it interesting that Jesus many times, when it, before he would do something, he would say, according to your faith, be it unto you, right? It's crazy how God leaves who, all of his ability in the hands of your faith. Think about that. Think about that. You have the God of the universe who is able to do anything. And he tells you, according to how much you believe, according to how much you expect, be it unto you. So my question is, what are you expecting tonight? Yeah. What are you expecting? For the next couple of seconds, would you put on your heart what you're expecting to see, what you're expecting to hear? Come on. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Father, we expect the miraculous tonight. We expect miracles tonight. Jesus to come again. 
we're looking at God to come how he came last time what prevents some some of us from moving into new places and new things and realigned destinies and all this stuff is because we're looking for Jesus to show up how he did last time and we're looking at him to do the miracle that he did last time or we're looking for the environment or the atmosphere that happened last time when Jesus God is saying hey Forget all that stuff. Put that stuff behind you. Behold, I'm doing something new. And I wonder if there's anybody that no matter how he shows up, whether he shows up.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, our Heavenly Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We are taking the Mass of the day because the Mass is the Mass of the resurrection. So that by the grace of God, our brother, Dr. Noah Magbe, Omoigwe, we rest in perfect peace continuously with the Lord. We also remember the mother of Noah at this Mass. And we pray for God could continue to console the family of Omoigwe to the greater glory of his holy name, both now and forevermore. To celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God in his mercy to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and the what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the ages and sins, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
O oh God, who we'll give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servant may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the Acts of Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God, with mighty works and wonders and signs, which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This Jesus, delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. But God raised him up, having loosed the pangs of death, because it was not possible for him to be held by it. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, that I may not be shaken. Therefore, my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will dwell in hope, for you will not abandon my soul to hate nor let your Holy One see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Brethren, I may say to you confidently of the Patriarch David, that he both died and was buried and his tomb is with us to this day. Being therefore a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that he will set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of Christ. That he was not abandoned to hate, nor did his flesh see corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that we all are witnesses. Being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this which you see and hear, the word of the Lord. A response shall be preserved me, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God, oh God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God. God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God, for 
glory you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Oh Lord, it is you who are my portion. I portion on my cup. You yourself who secure, who secure, my Lord. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. And so my heart rejoices. My soul is glad, even my flesh shall rest in hope, for you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your holy one, nor let your holy one see corruption. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, please forever. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it, rejoice in it. Ah, and be glad. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, the women departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. 
were going, behold, some of the guards went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people his disciples came by night and stole him away where we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. The Gospel of the Lord. we are in this church today in response to the invitation of our very beloved and dear sister Ifekuomo and the amiable husband. It is glad to know that our sister, a former champ person, of the Federal Inland Revenue Services, FIRS, has chosen to remember his brother, inviting us to come and pray in remembrance of our dear brother Noah in a church dedicated to the great Pope John Paul II, a saint. And so on behalf of the parish priests who has been busy since money, very Reverend Father Raf Ubiche, I'd like to welcome all of us here. There is something <laughs> we will need to know. You know, I'm very passionate about Midwest. It is in the Midwest platform that I discover the doctor who did my spine surgery and the wife who are Midwest people. So I would like to present to you today a reverend father who is on mission in Abuja, who is from Midwest. <laughs> Father is from Delta State. And if we dig deeper, you discover that we have a very close connection from Oguashuku, if I may not. Yeah. Father is from Oguash, a Delta man. So we are in a Midwest forum. And I'm sure those who are seeing us online will be happy to hear this. So I will tell Dr. Don Pedro to add you to our Midwest movement. <laughs> so that will be two Reverend Fathers there. And please, I'm the only person in that platform for now. Who are we here to pray for? Who is this man that we are praying for? We need to know who he is. Dr. Nowamagwe Omoigwe attended Corona Primary School. Not coronavirus. Corona Primary School. St. Savior's Primary School and St. Mary's Primary School, all in Lagos, Nigeria. The secondary education. He studied at the Federal Government College, Wari, and King's College, Lagos. And for his undergraduates, he studied at the University of Ibadan. 
at least I have a, an affiliation here. That is where I had my first degree. So I'm an alumnus of the Great University of Ibadan. So here he graduated with MPBS with distinction. Our brother Noah from high school, he graduated from high school at the age of 15. It's highly remarkable. From Federal Government College, Wari in Nigeria. He graduated with distinction and set a record as the first and among the first in the West, all of West Africa in the history of the school to obtain a grade A1 in fine arts, yet is a medical doctor. In 1975, after a year of pre-medical at King's College in Lagos, he gained admission to study medicine at the Nigeria's premier medical school, the College of Mercy, University of Ibadan. In 1981, he graduated at the top of his medical school class with distinctions and delivered the valedictory speech. After a tership, he spent a mandatory year of service at the brigade of guards where he set new records by coordinating an air, sea, and land military disaster drill and received a national award from the Nigeria president Shehu Shagari in 1983. In the United States, he did medicine residency at St. Mary's Hospital in Rochester, New York, and served as chief resident at Cook County Hospital in Chicago. He obtained a master's degree in public health from the University of Illinois. He trained in cardiology at Stanford University and in interventional cardiology at the Cleveland Clinic, America's best heart center. Now, we wrote extremely about key events about Nigeria's history and military coup in Nigeria. Noah Mwewe was the first Nigerian immigrant to serve as chief of cardiology in the United States of America at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. The Noah Center for Advancement of Arts, History, and Medicine is operated by Dagomo Foundation. You have some, the brochure in your hands is from this foundation, led by an independent board with support for the Omoewe family, well-wishers and donors. According to Ibrahim Ariyo, a cardiologist, the achievement of Dr. Noah ushered in a new era of possibilities, inspired new generations of young Africans and African Americans in cardiology worldwide. He chartered a new course, allowed us to redefine our future. By his example, we know that there are no limits in pursuing our dreams in the field of cardiology. The family of late Noah Magbe Omoiwe launched a center for the advancement of art history and medicine memory of the renowned scholar. Brother Cornelius, how do you know all this? Did you live with this man before? The secret men I know nowadays, all you need is just to go to Google. If you put your name in Google and uh, nothing happens, then it means that you are not well known. So I want to congratulate the Omoigui family who have produces, produced not just a scholar, but I want to dare say a saint. I was particularly interested in the last one about defining our future. Today's gospel talks about the encounter 
of the resurrected with the resurrected Jesus. And they wanted to silence the achievement of our Lord Jesus Christ by offering money. They gave money to the guide, said, just tell them they came to steal his body away. And if you are a good student of history, like our brother Noah, you will know that in Roman history, the most brilliant soldier you can get in the world is a Roman soldier. I don't know how many of you here have been to the Vatican. You see all those Swiss guides. You don't dare them. So it is difficult to bribe a Roman soldier. And for those of you who are legionaries here, we have the vexillium that symbolizes the, that the legionaries use. What is on top of the vexillium? You don't know? The ego. The ego on top of the globe, the world, and our lady stepping on the head of the serpent. So that is how strong the Roman soldier is. And so at the beginning of the Marian prayer, you will hear, who is she that cometh forth like the moon rising, fair as the sun, bright as the moon, terrible as an army set in battle array. We have fasted for 40 days and in preparation and we had the Holy Week ceremonies. And what does all this point out to me? No pain, no gain. No Good Friday, no Easter Sunday. So when you want to offer consolation to a bereaved person, it's very, very sweet. Please don't worry. Don't worry. God is. But when it does happen to you, my uncle, who was the only son of my maternal grandmother, was murdered when I was in class for secondary school. He was just the immediate younger brother of my mom. My mother fainted. I don't know how many hours because I was in school when the news came that my mother had this, my uncle had been stabbed in the river. Was there with my other sister who saw blood floating on top of the water. And who stabbed him? It was not a bandit. It was only Boko Haram. Talking about 1977. It was his own son-in-law who stabbed him. Who married my cousin in the city. And came and demanded the bride price that my uncle said, let's go home and give you this money. And he said, no, but he had already planned to kill him. And so he stabbed him to death. I never knew that my mother would overcome that shock. After some years, me and my mother could play with the name of my uncle. His name was Iki Seme. That means king. King should belong to God and is given to who he wishes. Why this story about my uncle? I just want to say because the family of Omoegui, this is not just the first day, because they are also experienced tragedy too. So I want to let you know that they are in heaven praying for you. I'm sorry, I can't easily remember my man's first name. <laughs> Eunice, Grace, yes, our Grace, who fell into the hands of these bad boys. 
May his heart so rest in perfect peace. So I'm sure like Mary, our mother with Jesus, who are in heaven praying for us, they too now are praying for their among his family. And I want to congratulate my brother, Mr. Okaru, for the support you are giving to my sister. I'm sure you don't easily remember that you are my in-law. You know you are my, my very good in-law. So I'm consoling you now as your brother-in-law, Marine Awa. And coincidentally, too, you are my brother. Remember, I was your parish priest <laughs> from Afuzi <laughs> to Sabokida Ura and all that. So I did not intend to see too many things today. But I just want to let you know that Peter, who was afraid before, you know, Jesus Christ, when he appeared, the first statement is, do not be afraid. Father, what is our saint known for? Do not be afraid. That even when St. Pope John Paul II was stabbed, I mean a shot, kept telling them, do not be afraid. If you just check your YouTube, the encounter between Pope John Paul II with the man that, start, that shot him, the Turkish man. And the man at the end of the day said, I never knew that the Holy Father is so loving. In other words, he would not have collected money from those who gave him money to shoot the Pope. But then, no matter how we die, God has a reason for it. But there is this general adage that good people don't last. If God wants you to live long as a good person, it's because he wants other people to learn from you. That was sometime too. When I see that somebody is really extremely good, I fear for the person. But then our life is in God's hands. I decided to give a little brief of our brother Noah so that our youth can be hopeful. Because certainly, I'm sure if this mass was around in the morning, you have a full church. But the youth who are listening, wherever you are, don't give up hope. Don't lose hope in Nigeria. I believe, I'm one of those who believe that Nigeria will be okay one day. It will be well. I'm very hopeful. If Europe, who went through war for 100 years, can survive, Nigeria too can survive. The America we hear today, they were slave settlers who were able to think and grow above their servitude. And today, America is a world power. All these bad deeds we shall pass away in Jesus' name. All this terrorist activity will pass away. And one day I have a dream that God will raise the Messiah for this country to refocus us, for us to have a mental engineering, to have change of value, each and every one of us. And by that time, whoever is the president of Nigeria will have less work to do. I will not say accept my condolences. Rather, I will say congratulations for being able to do so much for your brother. A foundation this evening, beginning by four, I, I think, I'm going to have a lecture in his honor and memory. And this would mean then that Noah is alive. He's alive forever. He's alive. Amen. So it's not dead. So we will now cry anymore because he lives on. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, our heavenly Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us both now and forevermore. Amen.
as we gather in the presence of God, our Father, who raised his son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. Let us continue to pray for our brother, Dr. Noah Omoegui. Let us ask the Lord to continue to grant him rest in his presence. For our brother who has departed this world that this sacrifice of the Holy Mass, he may receive forgiveness of all his sins and come to share with Christ the glory of eternal life. For families, relatives, and friends who are left to mourn their loved ones, that the Lord may grant peace to their troubled hearts and fill them with the courage to live through their pain. We pray, O oh Lord. For ourselves, that as we journey through life, we may have our eyes fixed on our heavenly home and strive to please the Lord in every aspect of our lives. We pray, O oh Lord. For the grace of a happy death, that at the hour of our death we may be delivered from all our sins, and through the ministry of the angels be welcomed into our internal home in heaven. We pray to the Lord. For those who are about to die, that the Lord may forgive them all their sins, and that the angels and saints may receive their souls and present them to God the Most High. We pray to the Lord. For all the dead, especially those of our parish community and family members, that they may find eternal rest with the Lord. We pray, O oh Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us make our private intentions known to the Lord. We join our prayers through the intercession of our mother by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. God of mercy, 
grants pardon and eternal life to your servant Noah, whom you have called from this life. Give consolation to those who love him. And may we who are still on our earthly journey always seek to please you through Christ our Lord. Brethren, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples. That renewed by confession of your name and the baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For us, one alone, he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die so that in your sight, we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May call it therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like you did for, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, to bread and gave you thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the power was ended, he took the chalice, was more giving thanks, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and get away, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, we have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks, we have heard us worthy to be a praise and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ignatius, our Bishop, and Semis Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Nos Noah Omogui, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Reach us with grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace in accordance with your will, who we'll live our reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lord here, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer before Holy Communion, prayer for her. Let me to make a good communion. Mary, my dear rest mother, pray to Jesus, my dear angel God, lead me to the altar of God. Dear brothers and sisters, this is time for Holy Communion. And Holy Communion is meant for Catholics who are in the state of grace.
Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal sacrament abound in our minds to pray, O Lord. And make those you have sent on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please let's sit down for our fashion.
we now invite the family of Noah to come forward for their Thanksgiving. to Jesus, I now invite Mr. and Mrs. Cario to come and show their appreciation and vote of thanks.
Lower rest increase. Are you muted? at the United States and studied at various levels of education uh, for him to serve humanity better. And he put in his best into doing this. So we're glad for him that he used his opportunity well. Not everyone uses his opp their opportunities, his opportunity well. Not everyone does. So we thank God that he did. He exerted himself. Sometimes it looks like people know that this is the length of their lives. Not that they really know, but they, they, they exact all their energies within the time they spend on the face of the earth and make maximum impact within the shortest time. That's what we can say of this gracious man, Noah, that we celebrate today. I was, I, I whispered to Father, I say, this man must really be, must be a really good man. From the atmosphere that started the mass, that greeted the mass and the atmosphere we are experiencing now, a heavy downpour, a cool atmosphere, a peaceful atmosphere. I don't know whether anybody is feeling what I'm feeling. I feel deeply God's presence. I feel deeply, you know, um, this peace that you can call serenity. There is this ambience of uh, serenity, calmness, joy that pervades this uh, church at this very moment that we remember this cheerful, handsome man. We ask the Lord to continue to strengthen the family. I absolutely, I know you will still feel his absence. The only one who has not made the impact that uh, you may not feel as much, but I can tell you, I don't want to deny that fact that you still feel his absence, you know, momentary feeling of his absence and the other. But that's not to promote your uh, pains, but that's rather to tell you to honor him and continue to celebrate his life. God bless you. I celebrate Father Cornelius who has made this uh, possible this day. He's always tireless when it comes to humanity. May God continue to give him the strength to continue to serve his church. For those of you who do not know Father Cornelius, he is the uh, executive secretary of the Nigerian Institute of Interreligious Dialogue. That's um, here is serving the country, serving the church, number one, and serving through his service of the church and service of God, he's also serving the country at large. So, Father, we continue to appreciate um, your contribution to humanity and your inspiration to those of us who are young. Each time I see your strength, I'm, I'm extremely inspired. And I do pray that when I've come to your age in the priesthood, I'll still have the energy you have. And or at least, may God help me that I still have half your energy. I cannot boast of the full energy you have now. May God just give me half, half. Half will be a lot for me. God bless us all and keep us. Thanks to the amazing choir. Thanks to the psalmist. That was uh, um, Ikenna. Ikenna just played the role of Jesus at the Passion Play. Little wonder when he sang, the Spirit of the Lord came down.
So thank you, Father, for I we need to also pray for our father Daniel Omoigwe, the father of the family who is still alive. We pray that God may continue to sustain him through Christ our Lord. Yeah. Bow your heads. I pray for God's blessing. May God the Father bless you. May God the Son heal you. May God the Holy Spirit alight in you. The Lord be with you. The mighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you. 